Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I will be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy 15 minutes lemon butter salmon recipe. Absolutely delicious. This is the perfect dinner idea. If you want to see it, keep on watching and let's get started. All right guys, to begin, here are the ingredients. They will be listed down below. To get started, I am using fresh parsley with Old Bay seasoning, salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder, paprika, okay? And moving on, you will need some freshly squeezed lemon juice, melted butter, and of course, your salmon. To begin, you're going to grab your lemon juice and pour the melted butter in there. Mix it up together, and now you're going to grab all your seasoning. Just pour it to the lemon and the butter together. Mix that up. And also, you will grab your fresh parsley and pour that in. Now you should have everything all mixed up. Here, I am going to place my salmon to a bowl because this is like a marinade. I am going to pour the marinade all over the salmon and mix it up together. Once I'm done marinating the salmon, this is what we're looking like. Now I'm going to grab my baking dish and I am going to spray it before I start adding the salmon in there. Now I'm going to grab the salmon and place it to the baking dish. Now I am going to bake this on 350 for about 15 minutes, okay? No longer than that, 15 minutes, it should be nice and ready. So once I'm done baking it, this is how it looks. Absolutely delicious, okay? Now how easy was this dish? Talking about last minute dinner idea, right? This recipe is a must try. It was so flaky and the lemon give it a nice citrusy flavor. So easy to make. You cannot mess this up. Try it out and let me know how you like it. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys a perfect side for this dish, this fluffy, buttery mashed potato recipe. Very easy also, and it's so, so, so good. Goes great with this salmon. So here's how to make it. I am using rosette potatoes, unsalted butter, heavy cream. I'm using some dry thyme and rosemary, onion powder, salt for the potatoes i have some chicken bouillon as well and also we have some salt and pepper to season the potatoes once they're done so here we are using a knife to peel our potatoes because i couldn't find my potato peeler but i am going to quickly use my knife to remove the skin so now once you're done peeling all of your potatoes, you are going to wash them to remove the starch from the potatoes. So I like to give my potatoes about two to three rinse before I begin cooking. Before you start cooking, make sure you pour the potato in the pot before your water start boiling, okay? So now I am going to season the water. I'm using chicken bouillon and also I am going to be adding some salt to it as well. Now I'm going to cover it, allow it to boil until my potatoes are fork tender. All right, now my potatoes are nice and cooked. As you guys can see, I am going to show you guys a closer look on how it's supposed to look like once it's done cooking. It should be nice and fork tender and 
fluffy as well once it's done it shouldn't be wet and you know mushy so you are going to drain the hot water out now i am going to start working on the cream i like my mashed potato to taste like herby and fresh and you just have a nice flavor of the rosemary and thyme in it so what i'm going to do i am going to add in my rosemary and thyme to the heavy cream i am going to let it simmer if you want you can even cover it just to make sure all that you know flavor stay in the heavy cream you can cover it as well give it a little stir here and there and of course you can use fresh thyme and rosemary if you have some so what i'm going to do is strain the rosemary from the rosemary and thyme from the heavy cream and we are ready to mash these potatoes alrighty so here are the potatoes nice and cooked and fluffy looking so I am going to use a hand mixer to mix my potatoes together you can use a potato ricer or you can use a potato masher if you have one it all depends on how you like the texture of your mashed potatoes so I added the butter I like it to be nice and buttery which is about a stick of butter and also I am going to be adding the heavy cream in gradually and I'm using my hand mixer I like it creamy and very nice and smooth that's why I am using a hand mixer and like I said you can use a potato masher or a potato ricer Now that I have my mashed potatoes nice and smooth, I am going to season with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now, if you want it to be more garlicky, you can add some mashed garlic into your heavy cream as you simmering your heavy cream. Okay, I do have a recipe on that one as well. Okay, so now you're going to give that another mix just like that and make sure you taste it if you need any more butter any more salt any more pepper you know at this point we have our mashed potatoes nice and ready and ready to go it looks nice and fluffy this is the way that I like my mashed potatoes and I added some melted butter on top with a little bit of dry parsley just to garnish and basically this is how easy it is to make some homemade mashed potatoes hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it if you're going to try it out let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here to join the family i will see you guys on the next recipe bye Thank you.